this is the <clears throat> single IBC emergency setup that I did because my fish were getting overcrowded and I wanted to get them outside uh, some of them outside anyway when I first put them out here there were 500 in this tank uh, now there's only 200 because I sold some of them uh, because I didn't have the rest of my system ready and I needed to thin the numbers but if you remember I transplanted the bell pepper plants and those couple of eggplants and that one uh, hot pepper plant back there from the indoor system and they kind of looked a little wilty and were having a hard time but they one of the eggplants self pruned a bloom that was already on it but since then they have bloomed uh, that one the petals fell off the bloom so I'm thinking there's probably gonna be an eggplant coming there's a couple more buds coming up there this one there's a, another bloom about to be ready to open right here this one looks like it's about to lose its petals so hopefully there'll be another eggplant coming a bunch more buds up there so we'll see what happens the bell pepper as you can see there's little buds all over every plant's got at least buds these leaves are kind of twisted around. We had a, some pretty good rain and storms come through. Uh, kind of push things around. See all the little buds on those. Uh, you see all the buds on these. And if you can see this one, bell pepper coming on right there. So the hot pepper hasn't uh, developed any buds or blooms yet. But... Uh, it got all kind of rangy out here too. It grew in all kinds of different directions. Uh, it grew really fast. I just I don't understand I, why it is not blooming uh, any better than what it is uh, or why it hasn't started blooming rather. And here's one of the strawberries I moved from inside that when the uh, NFT started to get anaerobic. Uh, it looks like it's making a comeback. There's new growth all over it. The One of the uh, broccoli there's another broccoli and another broccoli that I had started as seedlings and they were ready to so I went ahead and, well almost ready <laughs> so I went ahead and transplanted them out there's another strawberry that's making a comeback it's got some green buds on or some new green growth on it there uh, this one if you look way down in the bottom you can see new growth coming in on that strawberry there so Hopefully that one will come back as well. So these were the only three I tried to save. But then the couple of Roma tomatoes that I had started are doing great out here. You can see how thick that stem is getting already. And this system's only been out here for uh, about a week and a half, two weeks now. And this was just, it was barely above gravel uh, when I first put it out here. Uh, there's one of the celery that I've brought in from the NFT there's the other one uh, they've only been out here for a few days but they're taking off there's a couple of the eggplants that were started as seedlings that were uh, ready to be transplanted uh, there's another one back here right there that came out as a seedling and it's doing just great uh, I'm really happy with the growth of everything uh, the broccoli especially because they were almost dead when I put them in here. I uh, manhandled them. One of them I actually broke the stem over and it came back. Uh, it's doing great. I believe it was this one right here. And uh, But all of them came up doing fine because I didn't didn't break them in. I didn't give them time to acclimate to the sunlight and everything. I just threw them out here. and So everything kind of wilted down for a couple of days. This one Roma, uh, apparently there was something wrong with the stem right there. See if I can smash that little sucker. There we go. And uh, it fell over, but it still uh, it looks great. So this one's a little slower coming along, but it is coming along. Uh, it's got new growth on it down there. Uh, Going to be a lot of suckers coming off that, which is fine because I can just pull them and get them started elsewhere. I don't know what's going on with this. Okay. And, uh, but there you go, that's the emergency system. It's chugging along just fine. Uh, the water looks a little cloudy, but it's not really. It just, it's got that tinge to it because of the uh, wax coating that was on this IBC tote. It's the color of the IBC 
down there. Uh, it's not really the water. It's just uh, bacteria growing on the surface or whatever. The water's very clear. If I can, if I pull the bubbler out, I can see the fish. They go hide on the other side when I'm out here. So, but there's that one, which will be getting broken down hopefully uh, soon if I can figure out a way to detach it from where it is uh, and maybe load it into the back of my truck to move it over there but we'll see.